In this video, I want to address the um, issue of objective morality and subjective morality. Now, an atheist and a Christian can both have some objective morality. In other words, I can agree with an atheist that murder is wrong. I can agree with an atheist that paedophilia is wrong. And it's likely that myself and the atheist will both agree those things are wrong. Our police force, our government systems, which isn't necessarily grounded on God, believe that paedophilia and murder are wrong. That's why they arrest people and take them to prison, or sometimes even the electric chair. But my question is, what about more subject subjective morality? What about if uh, um, a man was to go off with somebody else's wife and, and have an affair? Now, that person obviously thinks that individual has done something wrong by going off with their wife. But you see, the policeman isn't going to come around and arrest you for that, are they? So how do we know it's wrong? Who, who judges that to sleep with another man's wife is actually wrong? How, how do you judge that? Because one person might say it's wrong, uh, uh, and perfectly wrong, because you know, you're hurting another person. Then another person might come along and say, oh, well, it's okay for you to sleep with another man's wife, because at the end of the day, you know, there must be reasons why she wants to sleep with him, you know, so on and so forth. And so I have a problem with this. If there's no God, if God doesn't exist, okay, how do you judge right from wrong? How do you do that? I'm not talking about issues like murder and rape and paedophilia that are obviously everybody agrees is wrong. I'm talking about issues where someone runs off with your wife and sleeps with her. How do you determine that that's wrong? Obviously you believe it's wrong, but how do you determine that? How do you actually work that out? Because you see, if there's no God, if there's no moral system that comes from God, that person can run off with your wife and be perfectly righteous in their own right, and it's some other people's right to do that. Not everybody does agree that running with a person's wife is, is immoral. Some people think it's perfectly okay. So how, how do you judge? How do you enforce that? If the policeman isn't going to come round to their house and arrest them from sleep, for sleeping with your wife, how are you going to convince anybody that that's wrong? So this, this is my concern. And it's not only that issue, there's other issues. That... that people think are wrong that the policeman doesn't come and arrest people for you know that how, how do you work that out surely it leads to people becoming their own god and deciding their own morality which means that they just treat people how they want a bit of an anarchist society how do you stop it from getting like that how do you how does it work 